if I can get your attention, hello, all of our talkers in the room, sure. we can get your attention. Thank you. What we'd like to do at this point is ask you to volunteer. Now, those of you that, that don't know I'm a teacher, I'm a former school teacher. <laughs> so in case you don't volunteer, I am going to call you up. <laughs> so at this point, what we want to do is have you to voluntarily speak up, speak out, stand, whatever works for you, but share with the group what your relationship is with Bobby. What your relationship is with Bobby. Okay. I see Ben look, ben look like he's moving, moving, moving. Yeah. Hey, he's ready. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Thank you, Ben. Tell us your name. My name is Ben Pickett, and um, I'm also a former retired uh, city worker for the city of Winston Salem. That's all right. But Bob is my friend. That's all right. Bob is my brother. All right. Let me say this: I'm very happy, and my relationship with Bob goes a long way. I remember Bob flipping off the eels. <laughs> And the recreation center. Yeah. And see the Roebuck family, I just, I just know all those guys. I know one like to play basketball, drive buses, and the other one had to do it with fathers and things of this nature. But I knew Bobby also as an artist who would come down to my rec center. I ran the rec center over there in Happy Hill. Bobby gave, regardless of how he worked for the city of Muscle Salem, he stretched his heart out to give to others. I mean, hey, this husband and wife duo was just like it. Bob was my friend. Even when we had the Martin Luther King celebration at uh, over there off of Ryder Coliseum. Now, now, a lot of people don't even didn't realize Bob is also an acrobat. Um, my sister and I wrote a rap. <laughs> during the time of the Martin Luther King celebration. What Bobby did, I think my sister got sick or something that particular time. So I pulled Bobby in. I mean, that's how cool Bobby is. Bobby came with me, and there was a lady there. What's the lady name that was controlled the theater festival of Bobby? Um, did she talk? Um, you um, um, uh, she was over the National Black Theater Festival. She, she, and, and, it, and it was not, uh, I'll tell you who it wasn't. It wasn't Larry Leon Hammond's mother, no. I mean wife at the time. This young lady was in a movie, I think Cotton Comes to Hall. Yeah. But she lives here in Winston. Uh, uh, Miss, um, she's the dance. She's, she's the dance. dance, she's a dancer. Miss, um, Robinson. 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 That's her dancer, Miss Robinson. 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 What do you have by the robot? What is he gonna do? Well, when I do my rap, uh, Miss Robinson, Bob is gonna cut a flip on the last, you know, the last episode of our rap. He gonna do what? He's gonna come off that wall, cut a flip, and come down. The first thing she said was, oh, "Come here, Mister Pig. Um, are you really for real?" I said, "Yes, ma'am." I've seen Bobby cut flips for so long. It's just, hey, he's a martial artist too and that. So I mean, he does it all. So, Miss Robinson got all the way up to the edge of the stage. She said, now Ben, remember, the hospital bill is on you. <laughs> well, we got, I started off in the rap, what happened to the dream, we was rocking and everything, and everything was going. I got to the last stanza. And I was like, what happened? And I went down like this. Bobby came out, look, her mouth flew wide open. <laughs> and then when Robert came down and cut that fifth, came down beside me, boom, she said, <laughs> it was a delayed reaction. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, Bobby is so gifted and talented. I'm so happy to be in his retirement. And he means so much to me and his family. But he just really liked that. So I just wanted to say that I love Bobby, my whole family loves Bobby. And thank you for coming down to Happy Hill to show your prints, 
And also, he's just so diverse. I mean, the man can take pictures, he can draw. I uh, mean, the man can do it all. But he got a queen beside. I will keep saying that. He got a queen beside. So I'm going to sit down because I know there's some great stories out there. But thank you, Bobby, for your, your friendship, your love. And my name is Ben Pitt. And I love you. Happy retirement. volunteer next to come up. Here comes a wonderful gentleman. Let's give him a hand praise. Good afternoon. My name is Norman Graham. I'm one of Bobby's co-workers. Been with him for 15 years. Bobby taught me a little something about body traffic, working in the city. And uh, he's a good fellow. God knows he is. Artist, oh my goodness, so the man is tough. So, so Bobby, whenever you blow up, don't forget us, we equal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is just that awesome. He is very talented. And I'm blessed to be in his presence at this moment. And his wife also. Yeah. And she is also a wonderful woman. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And I pray that God will keep his loving arms around the world. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. We have some latecomers that are coming in. So if you want to spread out a little bit, we do have um, seating on the other side all set up. So feel free to get up and spread out. You don't have to be all bunched up together. That's fine. Feel free to spread out. Bobby is giving me motions and, and, and points from the back. All right. Good job. If you'll come up, introduce yourself, and tell us what your relationship is with Bob. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Well, my name is Carlton Jones, smooth jazz saxophonist, and I met Bobby several years ago at the Forsyth County Entertainment Awards. And um, he took some pictures of me, and um, ever since I saw his work, I've just been so proud and amazed at his talent. And he's also been just a great friend. He'll call you up and just let you know how you, you know, ask you how you're doing, how your family is, and that's what I've always liked about Bobby. He's just been a really nice guy. I'm so proud of him. He shot um, the artwork for my uh, recent sing single that I released. It's done very well on uh, smooth jazz radio stations, and his artwork is also in Billboard magazine where he took the photograph of my single. So um, he's doing great things. I'm so proud of him. And um, I'm just excited to be here for you, man. I love you, and God bless you. Step into the light. They're saying step into the light so that we can see and hear everyone. So our point is it, to share what your relationship is with Bobby. And feel free to come over to this table. There's lots of room. You don't have to be bunched up. But it's good that we can be bunched up at this time. Isn't that great? Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, my name is Carl Dennison, and I'm, I'm the producer of Downtown Jazz. And he's, he's coming down and taking photos and uh, posting them online, and he really does great work. And I'm very appreciative of him because he helped get jazz out to a variety of people. And people our age need something solid and good to um, listen to and to relax to. So we at the age now that we just got to chill come on, come on. Relax and take it easy. So Bobby, he always has done great work and I appreciate you and I look forward to you coming downtown each and every year and um, continue your success with your next venture in life and we look forward to the next chapter. Thank you. an opportunity to come up as I see my great friend moving with a big smile. I know she's going to bring something. This All right. Other than the guests, come on up. Love. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Bobby, congratulations. Now, is it, is it okay if we give God some praise for you retiring? Yeah. And I, Bobby, I love Bobby, and, and when Bobby and uh, 
before I first met, I didn't know Bobby, but I, I had been friends with Tawana for a long time. And so Tawana would come to church and she would just not tell me much. I said, he's what? Uh, you, you, you and that what? You know, and we kept going back and forth and finally she said, I can handle my own business. You can't tell me what to do, you know, because I was like, you know, you need to slow it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But she, took, she put me in my place. <laughs> yes, she did. And I'm glad she did because, Bobby, we have a great relationship. We're church members as well as friends. And uh, Tawana is one of my best friends. We both do uh, decorations and, and uh, events together. And my handsome husband over here, he helps us as well. But we love you, Bobby. And I'm going to sing a song. All right. Now, it's, it's going to be a spiritual song. All right. Is that all right? Because we're going to give God some praise. Because right. okay. right. I know God has smiled on you. Yes, it is. Yes, he it has is. set you free. Yes. He's been good to you. Yes, so we're just going to do a couple of verses. And I want to dedicate that to you when you hear these words. That's you giving praise to God above. All right. <laughs> okay. You're going to try to help me. <laughs> God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Oh, God has smiled on me. He's been good to me.
really gonna retire. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know which about Bobby, which direction he's gonna go in there. He's gonna retire, he might not retire. So which we're gonna celebrate which way he's going to be. <laughs> but I know uh, as his brother and knowing how our grandmother was, this is a proud moment. It would be a proud moment for her. Amen. So I'm able to sit there to watch the through it all. We all still together. Praise God. Amen. 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 We all still family no matter how much we don't see each other. We Amen. Each other, no matter what goes on in the first family don't first. Or what family won't and what family don't have the There you go. But it's a privilege to watch my little baby brother grow up to be the man that he come to be. Mm -hmm. I always knew he was going to be special because he was you know, the age of the Bible. You could tell he was autistic. Yes. And once he got his mind set on something, yes. you was not going to get it. him to come get off that focus. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's now in the building. He's good at it. So it's only to watch him grow, watch him become the man that he ever, he ever came. And my and love his wife. Been on her way for he realized that did. Uh come on my friend. Thank you. Chicken skewers. I got my plate, I'm gonna be mad. Chicken skewers. Chicken what? Chicken skewers? Chicken skewers somewhere? Uh, Alright, so I'm at all this. It might be me. <laughs> Brother Bird. Brother Bird. Yes, that's me. Uh, two turkey ruben, one with french fries, one with fruit. The house we grew in was the best house I could ever think of. Because the why why I say this is because when grandma told us child you better pray, I didn't understand what that mean. <laughs> Until she told us, child, you better pray. We got to go. I'm like, what time about who can we pray for? Now, in church, she kept us in church. But since I can say, I don't forget where I come from. Because my mom, from her, I'm still here. Like I say, my brothers, all my brothers, every last one of them, still in church. As well as I am. I don't forget where I come from. There you go. You know. Yeah, we know Jesus on first name basis. <laughs> <laughs> but like I say, I grew up with three brothers and two sisters. And I'm grateful for what we had and what we didn't have. Times was hard, times was rough. I mean, I used to get my job every night then, though, but you know, <laughs> we posted to school one day. So I told mom, I said, mom. I said, oh, mama, I'm going to school tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. I said, come on, baby. Because told us, you come back home, we're going to get good. <laughs> so I told baby, I said, I'm going to go back to town. I said, I ain't got my car tonight. So I went back home. So me and baby went back home. <laughs> so I said, mom, I'm not going to have nothing. So we knew the bus was coming. So we get on back up there. We say, just about 9 o'clock. The bus still ain't got there. I said, baby, we go back home. Face music. So you can't get in trouble, Miss. You don't know me. You don't know me. So when we got home, we got eyeballs to work. We got eyeballs to work. But I'm grateful and I'm happy because we grew up the way we was taught. And we was proud of And like I say, that I love you. I really do. Thank you for the times. When I needed you, you was there for me. I'm grateful for all the things y'all did for me, you and Tawana. Um, like I say, I'm grateful because the family that we have, you cannot find no other love. I mean, I'm far away. I call them, I check up on them, make sure they are right. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but they know I love them and I miss them. Amen. You know, it's nothing but the grace of God that is showing the love that God gives me. You, you know what I'm saying? That's how I am. You know, I'm brought up the way God showed me how to be a uh, humble child. And that's what I am. Amen. And I'm grateful for that. But I told to one I would do this. And I'm gonna do it. Amazing grace.
Part of my brother, y'all became part of the family. So, uh, all thank you, thank you, all right. So, on behalf of his older brother, baby boy, Salmon, all the love you know that. Congratulations, thank you. Keep on up, y'all. Uh, good work. Thank you. Y'all, another Salmon. Salmon. Man, talking about flipping over walls. My two sandwich right here. Rip out right there, son, baby. My two brothers live coming up. This is y'all. My two brothers live coming up. They used to get mad at me because they thought I, was, I liked the daddy too much. Uh -oh. They called themselves going to gang up on those. Oh, 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 oh. Which is funny because by the time I throw one on the ground, they'd be the other one. My oh, my so Bobby just started doing the little macho thing when you started. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were still on 10th Street. <laughs> He got mad at me, he ran by me, and I said, I know what this is to do. He hit that wall, he ran over, he flipped. And, and I started grabbing with his wife, and then he hit him, because we all did the march out thing. And I started grabbing with him, but I saw the by he was able to do this. And I had to kind of laugh my way through it. And he laid, and he laid, and I like that. <laughs>
Hunter. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Blessings and all that wonderful stuff. I want to take this time out and thank everyone for coming this evening. Um, thank you for gracing me with your presence. Um, I'm, I'm really short of words. Everybody just said what they had to say about me, so that's really not much to say. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> but uh, I truly want to thank everyone for coming out um, to help me celebrate. Um, uh, my my time, uh, my my, uh, my life. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Come on. That's what I said. Who you better, boy? And I'll, first thing, one thing I want to do, I want to thank God for this. Yeah. Amen. 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 And thank God for letting me live to you know to be able to get to this point in my life. Amen. Um, because you know. Um, a lot of people have not, wasn't able to make it you know, this far, but um, I'm most grateful for you know uh, what God has done for me, uh, and, and to really see me through some hard times in my labor. Uh, but uh, He brought me through this, and uh, there's some days I feel like quitting. Some days I feel like crying. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to also thank my wife for, you know, being such an encouraging uh, wife. Yeah. 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 And I want to thank her for putting, you know, putting this together for me because basically I'm just a, a basic guy, you know. I'm a guy, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, you know, you know, I, I like celebrations, but you know, I, I'm, I was, I'm just excited about. Uh, the next chapter in my life. Amen. There you go. And um, I thank God for being God. Amen. And, uh, Amen. Uh, let me live to see this moment. Amen. And, uh, Amen. and I want to thank God for my family and Amen. my close Amen. friends. And uh, I, I want to just uh, say thank you, Sam. Sam, for being a good friend over the years. This guy's been with me God, ever since I was teenage. All right. Uh, we've been we've been role partners for years, and uh, if I if I always need someone to depend on, I can always depend on Sam. That's good. And uh, <clears throat> I want to thank you, Keith Bird, and this guy right here. I want to thank him, yeah. Mr. Bird, and also uh, Mr. 2022 Forsyth uh, <laughs> County Entertainment Award winner. <laughs> Awards <laughs> coming next month, uh, November the 6th. All right. uh, uh, glad uh, I'll be able to share the red carpet with this fellow right here. Amen. So God has been good, you know. Uh, yeah, um, to be able to, um, you know, have some things to come forth in my life, uh, positive things. You know, that's always been my life. Uh, you think positive, you get positive. You know? Amen. 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 I always try to be positive with others when they're when they're down. So uh, I'm just glad I'm here. And again, I want to thank family. I want to thank my friends. Carl, thank you. Uh, you know, and Beverly and Bernard, thank you for being good friends. Uh, wonderful church members. Uh, Norman, thank you. Uh, me and Norman shared a lot of things together, talking about work a lot. Uh, and thank you, Jimmy and Linda, family, and uh, I'm like Forrest Gump. I guess that's all I got to say. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. That's all I got to say. Family, you have a family, Deb. I think you had some words you wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say something. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Deb, and I know Bobby because he is my brother. And I met Bobby many, many years ago. Uh, Bobby used to live in college place. And um, when I went into his apartment for the first time, I was really impressed because um, I've been around guys. I'm an only child, but I have been around some guys. And he was so neat. <laughs> his place was really neat. And, you know, and, and he had 
tons of his sketches around and pencils and things like that. And Tawana always gives a Christmas brunch. And so we always know what, knew what to give Bobby for uh, Christmas. You know, we gave him sketchbooks and, and pencils and things like that. And someone said earlier they were so intrigued about the detail of his work. And I remember looking at a sketch that he gave to uh, Mitch and me, and it's um, a portrait of a slave ship. And it is about um, a slave ship and a, a man and a woman and people in bondage and, and in chains on that. And so uh, someone else mentioned the feeling that you get from his work. And I remember looking at that and realizing how important it is for us to remember who we are, where we come from. And just because we may have been an enslaved people, we are free. And we are kings and queens. And there's a piece that you know, there's so much detail in that picture because there is a piece where the man has broken the chains mm -hmm. um, and the woman is by him. And I, you know, I can't think of, that is God's plan. God mm -hmm. ordained the man to be the head and, and the woman to be his help me to meet whatever need he's lacking in. Mm -hmm. And I look at that and I just saw all of that and I said, oh my gosh, this guy is just so creative. And mm -hmm. one day, Bobby um, had a camera and he was taking pictures and time passed on and Tawana was giving him things for Christmas about the camera and shot to the head photography is his tagline. And I said, Bobby, what made you switch from, you know, putting things on paper to looking at things through a lens? And he said, it's just my creative eye. And I just, I just see it now through the lens. And when I've looked at some of those pictures and photographs that Bobby has taken, the detail is there. Yeah. The feeling that you get when you look at his work, you feel as though you're in the moment mm -hmm. with, the, with the picture. And that is a gift from Almighty God. And I'm yeah. so grateful that yeah. not only as a family member, but just a patron who enjoys your work. And I am grateful that you share it with the world. You don't share it with just this community. You share it with the world. You just mentioned that you and um, Keith Bird are gonna be sharing. Um, an award. I'm grateful that we will be there to see it. You have so much that you have accomplished in life and God has given you so much more. The gifts that he has yes. put inside of you, I'm so yes. grateful that you are not selfish, that you are sharing it with us because we too are blessed from you being a blessing. Amen. We thank you. We thank you. I love you, Bobby. I loved you from the moment that I met you. And as everyone else has said, we can't help but say to your help me, we are so grateful for you because you have done nothing but showered me with love. All of the family members have since I've been a part of this family has just shared the love and the camaraderie that we have in this family. And I tell you, if you don't have family and you're in this world alone, it's a sad thing. And no matter how many arguments you have in your family and you fall out, there is nothing like the love of family. You can fall out, but you still love one another. Right, right. You know, you see, because who has your back? You can say sometimes, oh, my family don't care about me and that kind of thing. But your family really is there for you. And I am so glad that I'm a part of this family. And I wish you many, many more successes. It's just another journey, um, another step. You are stepping down from one thing, but you are rising to so much more in your life, Bobby. So congratulations. Happy retirement. I put a, a little message on the gift over there. Your wife said it. She has a, a honey-do list to you. <laughs> <laughs> your brothers won't be hanging out with you. <laughs> you won't be doing that, but I love you. One thing I love about my brother-in-law, he I'm an optimistic and he is always so positive. Yes. I don't care what's going on, Bobby got that positive vibe. That's what I love about him. Mm -hmm. But I remember when um, he took a, a photograph of me and uh, Roy. And Roy wanted that picture so bad. And Bobby did that picture, I'm telling you. You got to do what you do. Oh, God. <laughs> it, it was just gorgeous. You are so gifted. And I'm telling you, you're made for signs and wonders, I'm telling you. And I'm so proud of you. And I want you to live your life to the fullest. I love you. Oh, God. The first photograph she took was the Christmas. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the first time yeah, that he, right. Bobby took pictures of the family members. Yeah, uh, Tawana right. had yeah. uh, dressed up her house for the Christmas season yeah. and we all came over yeah, right. each couple and person took pictures and that was the first time that Bobby started it's doing the photography. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm yeah, just I just remember old. that. <laughs> that was just what I learned. <laughs> We still have those pictures and yes, they still right. look good. <laughs> you made us look good even though you were learning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, you going to... It's the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also want to make the king of Jesus. Yes! <laughs> I'm uh, fire truck. <laughs> I just want to say, because I, I really can't say anything behind all of the comments that have been made. Me and Bobby, uh, I, I, we got kind of tight when I was asking him to pressure. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of at the church and uh, I was running out of uh, people to help me. And uh, we had already, at the church, we were already looking for him young, energetic guys, brother Gadsden, all of us, you know, we were looking for people, and uh, so uh, I I talked with Bobby, and it was instant, you know, there wasn't no, well, uh, I'll think about it, you know, and from that time on, we had been friends. He, I liked jazz, but I didn't know how much I liked jazz until I started hanging out with him. <laughs> And uh, I met some real, uh, real uh, nice jazz artists. But to make a long story short, I just want to say, Bobby, enjoy your retirement. Uh, sometimes you, that, that honey-do list don't kick in. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to be saying, man, why did I come out there so early? <laughs> but to make, uh, you, you'll enjoy it. You really will. You, know. you will. you will enjoy. I I didn't think I I, I would, but I I learned to like it. Yeah. And uh, I really started uh, liking it when I found out that at night Beverly would wait up for me, and I did not know that. Yeah. She would wait up for me, and uh, till my truck pulled into the driveway. And when, when she told me that, uh, I kind of, it just kind of got to me. Yeah. Well, to make a long story short, <laughs> man, you will enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> you will enjoy your retirement. I know you've been waiting on it because uh, we used to talk about it a lot. Yeah. So, and, and I know Jamal is going to make sure that, that uh, honey do this. Is <laughs> <laughs> is uh, available for you. But then if it, all jokes aside, enjoy your retirement. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, baby sister. And all your brothers and your sisters are here. Uh, Say hello to everybody. Hey, 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 hey. We're not here. <laughs> <laughs> you hear always, your brother, don't you? It's always when you do it. Yeah, I'm glad you called and appreciate yeah, your call. I'm sorry, I couldn't be there. That's okay. That's okay. You you hear a spirit? Okay. It's a little bit Okay. 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 Okay.
Thank you. Congratulations again, Bobby. When I met Bobby, I didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> Bobby, he's a character. I tell you. I remember when we was working, he got me a job working down at the city. Down there with the water, where he paid water bill. And um, I remember, I said, well, we don't have this job forever. Then Bobby skipped out on me. <laughs> I got a job at the landfill now. And so he's been there now for what, 20, 20 years? 21. 21 years since he left the city behind and left me behind. <laughs> but, you know, Bobby did real good for himself. He did real good. He did real good, you know. And I wish I could retire when I was that young. <laughs> they tell me I got what time? 67. <laughs> but anyway, but Bobby, enjoy your retirement, man. Enjoy it because let's see. don't do like, like I did. Wait, <laughs> you know, no wait. Get out of there, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all I gotta say. Man. <laughs> I want to thank you for everything you Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for loving my brother. <laughs> yes. Thank you for always trying to be there to keep the family as one. All the branches and stuff that you have every time something going on that you take the time to invite us and to, to make sure that we be family. Thank so you. Each, every good man finds a good wife and good ground. We got all the <laughs> Thing, uh, Bobby, come Christmas, when you get ready to take that Christmas breakfast, you know I love it. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. And one last thing we didn't mention, and all of us are aware of this, but we appreciate what sharp dresser you are. Oh, 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 Appreciate you, Norman. Uh, How are you too? Okay. <laughs>
would you? What's wrong with that? Get it, Get it, Sam.